Macca's guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maki here playing the Callisto Protocol and in this video I'm going to show you all of the weapon schematics that you can unlock in the game. These are items you have to pick up and then bring to reforge machines and you can unlock weapons via this tactic. You can miss weapons in this game, however there are a bunch of weapons you will grab no matter what, like the stun baton in chapter 2, which will basically be your melee weapon throughout the entire game. The hand cannon as well in chapter 2 which will automatically unlock via a reforged machine and when fully leveled it will fire explosive rounds and the riot gun which will be automatically given to you during chapter 5. This is a standard full sized shotgun that will also allow you to shoot explosive bullets when fully upgraded. However, three of the weapons can only be unlocked via schematics, which are items that you'll find during gameplay. You take these schematics to reforge machines and buy these weapons, starting off in chapter 3 where you can unlock the skunk gun. The skunk gun is basically a shotgun pistol and it easily became one of my favorite weapons during the game as it upgrades very well and does really good damage, although it has a pretty small capacity for ammo. Now in chapter 3 you'll come down into the basement, you'll fight your way through a couple of enemies and you'll find this fuse as a natural part of the main storyline. Naturally, you may want to take this fuse to the door right next to you to proceed with the mission. Instead, to unlock the skunk gun schematic, take this fuse all the way back to the beginning of the area where you can find a door that is locked by a fuse. Input the fuse into here to unlock this door. This will allow you to go into a vent and climb on through, and then you'll be put into the room kind of behind where the fuse was. There was a gate. We couldn't get through that gate. And in this room, you can find the skunk gun schematic on the workbench. Make sure you have a spot in your inventory to grab it. Additionally, if you fully upgrade the skunk gun, it will have homing ammo that will swarm enemies. The next schematic can be found in chapter six and it's for the tactical pistol. Now I'm just gonna be 100% honest. This is my least favorite weapon in the entire game. It doesn't do a lot of damage and I don't find it particularly useful. You have to carry so much ammo, it takes up so much of your inventory. But near the beginning of chapter six, after you fall through the hole and hang upside down, you'll walk through and take care of some of the enemies. But along the main path here, you'll just hop over this little gate and there is a little side pocket room to the right hand side. It's pretty easy to miss as you're getting attacked by a lot of enemies. But inside of here, there is a small bench with the tactical pistol schematic. This is a single fire pistol with low recoil and a high rate of fire and fully upgrading this gun will allow it to have a burst fire mode. Last but not least, in chapter 7 we have the assault rifle which is a 3 round burst automatic rifle. This gun can be very good but it is very expensive to upgrade and to find it near the beginning of the chapter you'll come to the area where you'll need a key card in order to open up the elevator. Here you can climb the ladder into Midtown. There's going to be a bunch of enemies in this area and you're going to be working your way towards security because in security there is the key card you need. But there's also this little side pocket room. It's a bathroom and inside of here you can find the assault rifle schematic. Watch out because as you pick it up you will be attacked by some enemies. This gun can be very useful against some of the boss type enemies which is what I think it's designed for and fully upgrading it will allow you to basically have homing ammo that moves in flight in order to make sure it hits its target. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to leave a like if it was. Share the video with a friend. A special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show and hopefully I see you soon. Peace.